Hi, I'm Kevin Owen. This is Jack Smith. And we get a lot of questions in counseling over the course of a week or a month or a year. And there's one question that we see a lot, uh, and that is when adults come in and they have good intentions and they raise their child as good as they could. That's just terrible grammar, but I'm going with it. As good as they could. As good as they could, but now their adult child treats them like dirt. Why does my adult child treat me in such terrible ways, Jack? Uh... I don't know. I, I just don't know this one. I have no idea. Uh, I, I can speculate. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's 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 crucial when you're a parent to build a bond with your child so that they want to have a bond with you when they're an adult. And if that didn't happen, obviously something went wrong. You don't want to beat yourself up or get in some hole of depression because that's not going to help anything. I think it's to think about it and maybe talk to your child and say, "Hey, I noticed we have a tight bond." That's obviously on me because I was the parent, but tell me where I went wrong and where I can help. Now, most of the time, parents won't do this because people are just riddled with pride and, and they just can't do that. But but if you if you find yourself in that place, I don't know how you can reconcile that relationship in, unless you're willing to swallow your pride and realize that something went wrong in the parent-child relationship. And since you're the parent, it's on you. I don't, you know. And I, I don't, and the problem with this question is, is it's so very contextual an answer. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with that could very well be it. A lot of times parents forget the fact that their kids are little people with all the same emotions and experiences and thought processes. And, uh, and, and whenever you go about your life and you're, they're just a character in it. Uh, they could resent you for that. Another thing that sometimes leads to uh, adult children t t treating their parents like dirt is it works. If I uh, if I make you good and guilty, my life is all jacked up because of what you did to me and where you didn't take me out of baseball in time and I didn't have the right mitt and whatnot whenever I was seven and now I'm 40 and I'm mad at you. Uh, well, if I can keep you good and guilty where you're paying back the debt that you owe me, then, uh, well, that's a good place for me. It's kind of a crummy place Probably for Probably more you. relevant for this uh, culture. Uh, it yeah. might be. Uh, and so sometimes it takes some awareness to go, maybe I messed up. Maybe there are places where I should have responded. Yeah. But sometimes there's a line that you draw and you go, you know what? I don't, I don't know that debt. If you're unhappy yeah. as an adult, uh, you really got to do something about that because... Uh, spending time with your parents is a choice. I, I think I think that's a good good call because I mean if, if you do look back and again you have to be real with yourself if you if you if you're not somebody who has good self reflection and you're not somebody who listens to other people you're probably not going to get this but if you can actually think back and, and 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 be real with yourself and say God I mean there's a couple things here and there I did but I mean I think I didn't do anything that would have destroyed the relationship well then I think Kevin's right then you have to start thinking what am I enabling in this person <laughs> what you know I mean. And, and and that's that's the thing I think it's a, a, to have a healthy relationship with your adult child is to let them go to cut the tie that you have with them because they're supposed to go out now and be an adult, but to to still be an influence in their life in a way that you that you can and to be helpful um, to to not give them things that they that that like like when they were a kid because my my eleven year old can't go out and work so I mean, I'd have to buy him shoes right but if he's twenty. Why would I buy them shoes? I, you know, right? And so I think we have to teach our kids how to be adults. And if we haven't done that yet, and they're trying to manipulate us and use us in that way, then some hard, tough love might be what they're, what they're looking at, you know? When it comes to relationships, there is no room for pride in love. There's no room to be a prideful child. And you look at your parent and you go, you know what? It's all of you. When it comes to your spouse, for you to look at it and go, you know what? I'm not going to lower myself to this level or your child. Well, when it comes to that relationship that either parents have with their kids or their kids have with their parents, we look at it and we go, well, I didn't mess anything up. It's all them. Well, there's two of you here. And the question is, what are you wanting to do? If your pride is keeping you from somebody, uh, well, uh, you might end up alone, but there's no room for pride and love. There's room for forgiveness. There's room for understanding. There's room for reflection, all that stuff. But all that's hard, especially if both sides are uh, a little bit guilty. Uh, if you need help going through some of this hard stuff, uh, call Jack. That sounds really hard. Uh, or you can call me. I guess we'll figure it out. We got you.